who would read Playboy, and he thought, I would not know it was Playboy if he just turned it over on the table. Needless to say, I... You, I figured it you, out. You could tell by the texture of the magazine because exactly. there's always a thickness to Playboy. Well, it brings us to the question of the day. And that is, with uh, we have been told that Playboy, uh, uh, there's more Playboys, uh, you know, in uh, Iowa than any other magazine. Do you have adult material in your home? Did you hear that? Playboy sells more in Iowa than, than any, any other, other magazine. magazine. And we understand that uh, in terms of money, adult videos are the most profitable videos in the uh, business. Uh, the home of adult videos, of course, is in uh, Chatsworth in the Valley. If you have adult material in your home, something, I guess, X-rated, 1-900-454-0501. If you don't, call 1-900-454-0502. And we are interested. It's 50 cents a call, by the way. You don't have to say who you are, but we are interested, interested to know uh, uh, that. Are you... Um, I did. Yes. I did, but I don't. Really? Because I, I used to uh, get Playboy, and the thing that they have, and I guess this is terribly sexist, and the Playboy centerfold, they have a thing called the Playmate data sheet. Yes. And it lists uh, the data that you would expect. Yeah. And it also lists their birthdays. Oh. And when Playmates started being born in the 80s, yes. that just made me feel awful. <laughs> Rhonda, would you think this is a sexist Here's Rhonda Shearer. <laughs> Here is well, Rhonda herself, Rhonda Shearer. Hi, guys. Who created and made up all night, night. a seven-year hit. Seven and a half yeah. year. And who has graced the pages of, of Playboy. Yes. And you see, I, I think Playboy is great because they continue to put older people in their right. magazine. But Rhonda, because people have grown up with Playboy. Mm -hmm. Weren't I, you one of those who did not disrobe, though? I didn't disrobe initially in New Orleans when I, when I was in uh, Miss Louisiana. And I still got in trouble back then. I was dethroned as the floral trail queen, not Were as Miss you? Louisiana. As the but it ended up where trail. I ran for public office and was accepted to law school, so it, it was actually a good thing. Then I came out here and up oh, all night was doing really well, and they asked me to do <laughs> a layout called Rhonda Keeps You Up All Night, right. which I did, uh -huh. and it was sexy and funny, and I think Playboy is 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 really a, a fine magazine. Yeah, you know, there are a lot of people who say that, and then people always tend never to believe it. Oh, they're just saying that. They're being paid. <laughs> they were all women. When yeah. I did the, my layout, it was like all women on the set. Like one photographer, and there was like the editor there. It was, it, I've had sexier DMV photo sessions. <laughs> have you? I'm serious. <laughs> it well, is not sexy at all. Well, and there is that old joke about uh, having it only for the, uh, the, the articles. Right. right. And yeah. the articles are but well But this is true. The worst thing you can do, when you read Playboy magazine on a plane, <laughs> and all by, all by is like an interview with Gore Vidal or some, somebody yes. you really want to read, <laughs> yes. and then you have to turn it, you, you have to turn the cover over yeah. because people don't believe you're reading it um, mm -hmm. just for the, uh, mm -hmm. the magazine. Well, are you one of those who says uh, Playboy and, and Hustler uh, and Penthouse are all of the same? No, I, I don't think so. I really no. don't. And, and just like adult films and, and, and sassy films and soap operas, they're not all the same. All, look at daytime television, though. Your soap operas are pretty darn steamy, and people are doing a Very. lot of things with them. <laughs> it's, that's it's pretty and bred there. That's right. So if you just watch daytime television, and they're gorgeous, and they're running around half naked, mm -hmm. And then, you know, basic cable up all night. Everyone thought it was oh. a lot sexier than what it was. Well, you know, but, but, but it is funny because whereas there, there's a cheeky quality to, to up all night. Well, oh. it can't be. And I made fun of, it the, fun of it the whole time. Yeah, you've heard the words saucy, cheeky, <laughs> <and> can't <laughs> be. But there are, are, there are other things, and we're going to get into all this, on basic cable that, li that alarm you. Yes, that, even, and then yeah. and then of course you go back to them. We will talk more <laughs> about sex in the video. Rhonda Shear is here. We will. She continue. has developed a show called News of the Weird, which we'll ask her about. <laughs> yes. we'll be right back. <laughs> Is the high cost of auto insurance putting the squeeze on you? Call Freeway Insurance at 1-800-464-SAVE. Get the lowest total price with the lowest down payment and lowest monthly payment. Freeway, it's that thing you're speeding on. Are you stuck in your present job with no real chance to get ahead? Discover the excitement of a career training in the medical field. Call now for a brochure on medical career training. In just a few months, you could be helping a doctor with patients or running the front office. Call now for a brochure. There are day and evening classes, flexible schedules, even keep your present job while you learn. For a brochure, call Bryman College at 1-800-722-7337. Call now. The need to care and to be cared for takes on even greater significance as we grow older. That's why if you are entitled to Medicare, you should call a health plan that was created for the sake of caring. I am Rhonda, and I am frustrated, looking for a way to get out of my bottle, which my cousin stopped me up in. <laughs> ah, so 
some Baghdad bubbly. <laughs> like most oppressed people, I am now free, but still very angry and hungry. I have been in here a long time. Now back to the Stone Age on USA. Up all night. <laughs> that is Rhonda Sheer. Do you know last night on the radio, Barbara Eden uh, was on with Conway and Steckler, and and this does not my idol. this does not surprise <laughs> me. Every other call was hello, Barbara. I am you know 35 year old Jim from Reseda, and I am so in love with you. Mm -hmm. And I grew up with you know that my mm -hmm. and there's a whole new generation now right. because of Nick at Night. night. They discovered her, and, and I've been doing all these send ups on, on up all night, and uh -huh. it's been great. And she is my idol. She's the reason I came out here to do a sitcom is because I, I thought was that it was so really. Great. But that was and so Lucy, clean. of course. But yeah, Barbie, right. she's a lovely lady. It, yes, she is. That was so clean though that even the navel was covered. Yes, until <laughs> later she got older. Then she exposed her navel. That's right. But what you do, and then some other shows, even like the soaps and the nighttime soaps, <gasps> especially, right. is is vastly different than I Dream of Jeannie, would vastly. you not say? Yeah. And the young uh, high schoolers and college guys who mm -hmm. are a, a huge bit of your fan club. Mm -hmm. um, and USA is actually like the most conservative of the networks, although I did a Silk Stockings episode once where I was, well, I was murdered in the first 60 seconds, <laughs> when it was a very sassy scene. Yeah. So, I mean, it's amazing what, what people get away with today on, on D television. Does it, does it ever embarrass you? Yeah. Oh, I'm, t I'm from New Orleans. You know, uh -huh. New Orleans is a dichotomy because it seems like it's this wild place with Mardi Gras, but it's very much a religious sort of background going on there, too. So I am conservative. I know you don't think that because, <laughs> you know what it is? I'm this curvy person. That's the way I was built right. because I like to eat. And, and you can't, it's, you know, perception's reality. So people think I'm this big blonde, you know, but be, sex goddess. In the but, meantime, I'm just, there's always toilet paper hanging off the back of my shoe. <laughs> I just can't really get it together but the, in life. But the question is, though, if a seventh grader uh, yes. or a fifth grader begins to learn about sex, staying up watching R Rhonda, and he does, right. uh, do we feel concern about his attitude toward sex? Well, I think sex? if he was watching me, he, there would be a lot of humor involved. I think it's what's happening on the internet that's a little scarier, because mm -hmm. I just bounce around there myself, and, and yeah. these kids can get on, on there, and they know what right. they're doing, and and it's click, click, hello, and it's way more than oh, nudity than, than that's happening yeah. on there. Because I like to see what's going on with myself, and it's pretty scary. Mm. So, some people might, uh, this is not an analogy I would make, but you know, if you, if you, start, if you start young and you smoke a cigarette, you're going to be a heroin addict 10 years later. So you're going to be a sex maniac? Do you, but do you think, what, what about people who suggest that? Do you, I don't think that that's true, but others say that it is true. I, I don't think so. Actually, look how open, you know, sex is in Europe and how, mm. how there's naked ladies on page two in, in, in London, and yet it's a conservative thing. I think actually if it's more open than we, than that, then we don't think it's something dirty. So if we make something that it's dirty to kids, then kids are going to think it's nasty. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents were married 48 years before my dad passed away, and they, had, they, they kissed and, and cuddled in front of us, and they had a beautiful marriage. So it depends if you make it dirty and nasty or if you make it clean, and I think it can be presented in a clean way. Did your mom or dad see your Playboy thing? Yeah, they, my mother's very cool, and, um, and uh, she was, because it was done in a funny, sexy way, so mm -hmm. she was okay with that, because, you know, with me, it's like, look, but don't touch. I am the biggest tease in the universe. <laughs> 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 now, do teenage boys approach you, and and are they? They do, and they get it. You know, if they, they really, get it, because you know what, you can't. You if you're they on don't camera, get it. No, they I get understand. It. And they get that I'm making fun or spoofing it. Yes. And so I am. I'm not a threat to women. I do stand-up comedy, and women are the my best audience. Whereas Howard Stern, on the other hand, well, well, that's you know, he's just so he's on the edge there. I mean, I love Howard, but you do know, you? I do, and I've, I've been on his show, and and if you attack Howard, he has no place to go. I once bit the hair from his head out of his head. Don't uh -huh. ask. It's like a long story. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but he immediately <laughs> shrinks and, and uh, yes, you've got yes. it. Yes, if you attack Howard, he really, he really respects women. But, you know, it's, uh, it's what he does. Well, you know, but the one, one thing, it, there is this objectifying of mm -hmm. women. He, Howard Stern does that. The, the Playboy data sheet does that. Right. But right. I think, and, and I equate funny with smart. Right. Smart, funny women can overcome all that. Right. Well, you know, I've had, I've had this fight because you can be pretty and, and funny, you can be perky and funny, but when you're sexy and funny, it's, it's too drawing. People just don't get it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying. <laughs> look at Mae West. She's the other woman I absolutely love. And Lucy was a very sexy woman, but she played she, against yeah, she played it. Against but look at the that. women from Playboy who are now becoming stars. I mean, when I did Playboy pe back then with all my clothes on in right. New Orleans, I was booted out as queen. But Jenny McCarthy, mm -hmm. uh, Donna Dierko, uh, Carmen Electra, uh, Shannon Tweed. I mean, these ladies came from Playboy. It's a whole different era. Now, now. Do, do the Playboy girls have good relationships, or does the Playboy experience really 
really ruin uh, uh, just having a I really think, solid relationship? You know, I don't think so. I was in Miss Louisiana, and people always ask me about my beauty queen yeah. experience. And I did, and I started off as a teenager. I didn't do it as a child. Uh -huh. And I think it was really great for me. I mean, I did things as a teenager. I spoke before the House and Senate of Louisiana, and 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 it, and it helped me be competitive out here. It's much more competitive here than it is in the pageant system. And I don't think Playboy is any different. I think these are these are girls that are looking for a way to get ahead. It's not easy in L.A. to be spotted or noticed. There's a zillion gorgeous women out here. So if they have the intelligence and if they have something else going on, like with Jenny, the comedic ability, yes. she, she's now opening doors for me again. That's right. Which and is you're very opening cool. doors for others. Would you appear in Hustler? No. You would not no, appear in no, Penthouse? No, because it's a different, it's connotation. It's the connotation of Hustler. That's it's right. It's totally different it's, than the it's, connotation it's of Playboy. It's graphic as, as, right. as compared to fantasy in, right. uh, in and, Playboy. And Playboy is fantasy. I, I pose for an artist named Olivia who's, who's yes. very much the Vargas of, of the 90s. And, yeah. and what an honor. Uh, um, but it's art. And I think Playboy comes off as art. I really, truly believe this along with it's a fine magazine, mainly run by women. Christy Hefner, it's a different feeling. It's mm -hmm. not guys smoking cigars. Like, hey, baby, <laughs> mm -hmm. show me your wares, baby. Uh, um, we, we, with Up All Night and, and, and the sexy image that you have, and yeah. then we have to uh, talk about the cleavage cam, which is the greatest thing <laughs> which ever. Which I came up with. And was the like, most brilliant the idea. scowled at me. Uh, the most brilliant idea <laughs> in the history of television. Um, <laughs> in your own real social life, yeah. is it hard because it's like, hey, I'm, so I'm going out with Rhonda tonight. I'm so bored. But people have this after... expectation. If they it's do, they'll just get slapped. No, I, you know what? People are afraid of me. They're afraid of big hair and makeup. Mm -hmm. It just scares them. If, if I walk into a grocery store with no makeup on and my glasses on, more guys will come up to me and go, hey. Yeah, because they're not afraid, if yeah. I may say so, of breasts. They, they are afraid of big hair and makeup. They're just afraid of the whole thing. They're right. like, she's untouchable, she's not, you know, she's scary, That's whatever. Right. So I, it's sort of my defense. Also, comedy was my defense mechanism. Yeah. You crack a joke with a guy on a date when he's trying to make the moves and whoo. Things yeah. go away. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Isn't that interesting? Not, not they worry. want you to stay dumb. Yeah. Right. They do want you to stay. They do. Uh -huh. They do, Sam. I don't. I see. That's not. If a woman makes me laugh, that is. That's good. Very Sex funny is stuff. funny. Yes. I'm sorry. I don't get. You know what? No, it's not entirely. No, fun, it is. I'm sorry. I can't do the whole lingerie thing with the right. garters. They'd be snapping off of me. They'd be. It, it, the lingerie ends up choking me around my neck. I like big flannel things. I know. Sorry to break yeah, any no, illusion no, out there. No, but you know what? It all works. Works. It works. It works for Sam. Yeah. It does. I'll say. Now, let, can we yes. ask about the cleavage cam? We, yes, this, was a, this was a segment for hard copy. Yes. It was unbelievable. And they it was your a, idea? They it was. Um, put a little camera. A, a little lipstick cam for the Republican convention to go and uh, to cover the Republican convention. But I had a camera fo following behind me and one in my cleavage, which wasn't physically easy to do because it's like have, having an entire studio in your purse. Yeah. And the joke wasn't on me. It was a joke on the guys who were like dumb enough to look down my cleavage. And, but that, it happened to every guy. It did happen was to every guy. It, was it hidden? It was hidden. It was hidden. And I, it wasn't even that it was so low cut. I mean, I just had a, I had a suit on uh -huh. with a scarf and I took the scarf, when I, once I got inside the convention, because they would only allow us in there for 10 minutes at a time, and you had to sort of uh -huh. run around very quickly, which was so much fun to do. It was a little lipstick ham, and, and it was just a little cleavage, too. But um, And I would sort of turn away, because that's when guys will look down. Because yes. if you're staring in their eyes, they, they, they don't won't look. They don't look down then, but no. they all did look they down. They all looked down. But don't women, I would have looked down, too. Well, women would, will tend to check other women out faster. Oh, yeah. you know, women will go, huh, I'm better than her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask you about this, this news of the weird. This is a new show that you're doing. We saw you so in New perfect. Orleans at the... At uh, Nappy. Yeah, Nappy. Yeah, it was great. Um, which is my hometown. Um, it's, a, it's a dysfunctional newscast. A guy named uh, Chuck Shepard's been writing this column for 15 years. Uh -huh. It's real news items often that are shown at the end of, uh, of news. They call kickers. Kickers, yeah, exactly. Right. Thank you. And so, but it's a whole show of kickers. Uh -huh. And they're really, really funny. Like the guy who built a platform in the ladies' bathroom where he worked, slipped himself inside with a peephole so he could look up ladies' dresses. Yeah. Okay, I mean, so it's really, you, you couldn't even make up this stuff. There's some really So it's all real stuff, stuff it's that you're all, using? It's not like Weekly World News or The Sun. It's all real stuff. And it's when and where do we see this? It's in syndication. Hopefully, we'll start in September. It's looking really good right now. We're in house syndication, as you don't know if you yeah. get picked up. But it's from what I understand, we're on our way. So late night. Yeah. No doubt. Well, I don't yeah. know. It depends on where people buy it. They're saying right after the news. It would be so rather perfect in some <laughs> or places. Instead. Or instead. It's, not, it's, not, it's, it's, it's done in good taste. It's not nasty. It's, it's just fun stuff, but you know, wacky news items. Uh, Rhonda Shear is a likable woman. Yes. <laughs> don't you find? No. She just is. Thank very you. much That's so. Very and li likable on a variety of levels. <laughs> and and. and Yes, and uh, and adult material is on a variety of levels. Exactly. Right. We're not talking child pornography, which is illegal by definition. definition. Mm -hmm. We, we are, have, mm -hmm. conveniently, yeah. of News of the Weird, we have a clip that we want to show oh, you. Here's oh. Rhonda Hart at work. <laughs> and now to the week's top stories. 
Kevin and Montgomery Ford were charged with several serious driving offenses in Buffalo, New York. After Montgomery drove Kevin's car up a telephone pole guy wire and flipped over. Kevin explained to police that after they'd been drinking at a party, he gave the keys to Montgomery. A smart thing to do, except for the fact that Montgomery is completely blind. Kevin explained, however, that his brother always wanted to drive. A good, a good look for Ron. An excellent, yes. My hair is sort of look. square, but that's okay. But it was like, you could do the news. If this works, you could well, do you the Well, you know, news. I was my major was communications broadcasting in New Orleans, but you know, I just didn't quite fit in. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather just do the, the, the more irreverent interviews and stick to that. The, the makeup looks so much like so many anchors these right. days yes. that you realize right. anchoring a television a news is, is, is already a hilarious. Well, I do a lot of British television work in, for, for Britain because they, they don't mind if you're they a little wackier or right. campier. I I still right. like that word. Yeah, they would love you there. The <laughs> well, ab fab. Rhonda, thanks for camping here. All right, Sam. And you know what? You should do butt cam. Butt cam. <laughs> there, you know, um, the, the naked thought, guy. The thought to, uh, is appalling. <laughs> well, How Richie the do it? The naked guy, Richie, would like to uh, have himself outfitted for a butt cam. There, you know, he keeps appearing stuff. <laughs> oh, on oh. my chair. He, just, oh, there you are. he was hanging out with me. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Rhonda. When we come back from Sunset Beach, Jason George, the uh, very handsome star, will talk about that racy stuff. He's described as streetwise, only he works only exclusively on the sand and in the water. It's fascinating. We'll ask him about it. We'll be back.